All right, guys, haven't done one of these in a while. I got this bike put together a while ago. Some of you people saw that video that I did, me unboxing it. It was my first Specialized I've ever owned, which is pretty cool. Um, but I've got a few hundred miles on it now. Done a bit of riding kind of all over the place. And I wanted to go through it and do a three minute bike check. Let's go. So it is a 2022 Specialized Stump Jumper Evo Expert. It is an S4 frame size. I am five foot 11 and I feel like it fits me perfect. I love this bike. It is without a doubt my most favorite bike I have ever owned when it comes to full scale mountain bikes. So I did upgrade the fork. I moved it to a Zeb. I mean, the fork Fox 36 is a great fork, um, but after having a Zeb on my previous couple bikes, the Zeb Ultimate is just such a good fork and it is so stable at high speeds um, that I had to get another one for this bike and it really has proven to be a great idea. I did want to go ahead and upgrade to a carbon crank. Um, so the big thing was I wanted to buy the Pro when this bike came out, however, it was not available. So I upgraded a lot of the components to pretty much get it up to pro spec. Um, so in that too, I also did get the DED Copperhead stem, which is the same stem that comes on the Pro, as well as a DD, DED carbon bar. Um, I really like the DED cockpit stuff. Um, I did upgrade to a wolf tooth lever. Feels great, I highly recommend that as well. Um, and then my wife got me a set of PNW grips. Jury's still out on these. I do like the way they feel. I think I need something that takes a little bit more chatter out of the grip area. Um, and then lastly, I did upgrade to the Roval Traverse carbon wheels um, with the DT Swiss 350 hubs. Um, great wheel. I've had carbon wheels on all my bikes, so at this point I'm just a snob and really want to ride a bike with carbon wheels. So my impressions of this bike are, remember I'm coming from previous to this bike was a 27.5 150, 160 bike. Now I'm on a 29er 150-160 bike, and all around the bike is just faster and more stable. I mean, it's everything you read on the internet. Um, it, it is incredibly faster, way more stable. I, I don't really feel like I'm missing much in the way of playfulness at all. Um, bike still feels incredibly playful, very, very fun. I This bike has a ton of adjustable geometry options. I messed with one setting and I left it there. So I have it in the high bottom bracket setting and the slack head tube setting. Um, and honestly, the bike leaves nothing to be desired. I couldn't tell you the numbers on it. I remembered it when I set it there and I've done every single mile of pedaling under those settings and I can't think of any reason to run anything different. All around, this is a fantastic bike. And I'm really curious to see what Specialized does with if and when they do a next generation. But to be honest with you, I think we're nearing the point with these bikes that they're just so damn good that there's not a whole lot that can be improved upon. Um, I mean, it's there. I mean, it really is. Tire combo I'm real happy with. I've got the Butcher T9 in the front and then the Eliminator T7 in the rear, the grid trail on both front and rear. I do have a set of gravity tires for it for the inevitable trip when I finally do take it to Shepard. Bike, this bike hasn't been to Shepard yet. Um, I don't know. I like Shepard for about once or twice a year. It's not quite my style of riding. This stuff out here is more my style. So I'm out here checking out a couple of buddies trails they're building in Steelville, Missouri. This really slick new whale tail, um, but it looked like a nice backdrop for a bike check. So I wanted to go ahead and put it up. So that's my thoughts. We're cruising over the three minute mark. Three minute bike check, 2022 Specialized Stump Jumper Evo Expert Pro. It's pretty much a pro. I don't like AXS, so I have mechanical stuff, but that's it guys. Love this bike. I'm gonna hold on to this one for a while. Maybe get a new one when they, if they have a better color this year, but uh, it is a slick bike, guys. Can't recommend it enough. Do it all trail machine.